What's up everybody? This is Manisha Chaudhary and welcome back to my yet another episode of Amazing Bulletin Board Ideas. You can use these ideas for school offices and wherever you feel fit to use for yourselves. So in this particular video, as you can see, we are just rushing through a, a lot of different art elements and trying to assemble them together. This is nothing but an amazing Bulletin Board idea for the spring season. Now, when you think about flowers and petals and floral art elements like such, so they are not only restricted to the spring period, but they can be used all year long. As in this particular bulletin, this video, I'm going to be showing you three different ideas on the same lines as to by using a different sorts of leaves and the flowers and the greenery around with a lot of happy elements, how you can create three different bulletin boards. Now, this being the one, and the sizes are also of course different. One is squarish and one is, you know, a long elongated rectangle-ish. So three different boards with three different bases. As to bases, when I, when I speak about bases, I mean the background color. As you can see here, the background is little lighter. And if you ask me personally, uh, working with a lighter background and trying to control and the effect is a little difficult. Why? Because no matter how much ever dark colors and uh, pretty colors and happy elements that you use, it really doesn't pop. Reason being everything colorful always shines against a darker background. So but still trying and making an effort to let the elements shine in this particular one. And as it is, uh, when you talk about happy spring art elements or the bulletin board ideas, you feel that you have to not only restrict it. Yes, you really cannot restrict it to just the junior wing or, uh, you know, the spring alone. This can be used for any positive uh, quotation bulletin board this can be used for anything happy that you want to convey maybe it can be used as a corner or the border or the bottom or the top part of any bulletin board that you're trying to uh, convey a message actually and if you just visualize along with me you can imagine this entire setup as the base of the bulletin board for displaying of the result isn't it so let's not restrict it to whatever you're looking in the screen just try and go beyond and imagine how you can use uh, basic cutouts of the solid colors like such and can use it as per your own need i keep getting messages from your all your sides that ma'am uh, any more ideas for how we can display the result how we can make this and that see the ideas are right there you only need to mold it as per your own need and yes now as you can see it right here what we are doing is sometimes the bold flat color they don't only you know elevate the art elements uh, because you need to add a sort of a dimension if given a chance i would give a, a little more dimension to each and every element but then this purpose of cutting and giving it a collage form like such fails but totally up to you art is never restricted by one concept alone you can always edit it as you want it and this particular board as i told you that the base it may not look a little lighter blue actually but this is a very pretty blue though i would have loved a cobalt one because that would have given it a little more dimension more the depth as we speak about the art supply art uh, bulletin board like such unless you add a little dimension the depth is it doesn't really pop but nevertheless yet another idea so as you can see this is me trying to explain something of course I've edited this is the cutting ma cutting machine that I have I needed to write the bulletin board uh, the codes as it is so a lot of positive alphabet needs to be repeated so instead of writing it accurately right there, I thought why not use a dying cutting cutting machine just like this. I have already in my earlier videos have mentioned as to how you can use it 
this particular one I have all sets of alphabets and a very simple technique as to how you can cut it by certain giving a uniform pressure you can cut simultaneously two to three alphabets so uh, it seems to have a two different pressure mats one is lost I don't know where it is so therefore just trying to you know create a even uniform pressure so that the alphabets come out rather very very clean while cutting it the edges cannot I cannot allow them to be little crooked but rather smooth I think that is the point of cutting it with a cutting machine like such so of course the alphabets are written negative so that whenever they get cut they are positive in the shape look at this fine neat clean cutting so just like this I have cut three different colors of positive and this bulletin board I'm dedicating it to the uh, I'm gonna put it in the senior wing middle wing in fact where it will be completed with a positive quot uh, quotation so these are the different the die cut hmm, dies actually as we say it the size is rather quite decent though I would have preferred a little bigger one so this is me on and on talking about it so this is how it looks once it is put up on the bulletin board instead of putting it with a stapler because you know that doesn't really give it a very clean feel so they were stuck by using glue so this is the quotation for the board which is positive thoughts generate positive feelings which positive which which changes into positive life experiences so this is what it is yeah you can read it yourself thank you so this is what you see before yourself a complete bulletin board with a very positive affirmations that you can every time pass by the corridor can read it and truly try to incorporate in your lives now as I told you that this the same set of art cuttings or maybe a little different ones a little uh, combination of different petals and the foliage have been used on different size of bulletin boards along with the different backgrounds so here is yet another one where you can see the same butterflies foliage green pinks and purples assorted and assembled together the flowers are little differently cut and the negatives and the a little more fillers are used here and there to create a complete look like such this is the third bulletin board as I was speaking to you about three different sizes three different boards same set of art elements assembled differently to create this spring beautiful flower floral look and here the flowers uh, the flowers are little differently used love them in fact these are elongated 3d type buds that we have created was very very impressive that did really kind of elevated the entire feel of the board see and if you, if you try and compare these three different boards one with a deep blue base the one with the yellow and the one with the light pink which one did you like the best I would want to know your opinion of course when I work I know which one is my favorite because that is the reason we keep on experimenting with different backgrounds as to you know sometimes you really don't know behind which background is going to pop the most and eventually the feel to give a complete artwork the most you know strong impression to whoever looks at it and mostly most of the time uh, this was used in my school GD Goingadrapuram where it was uh, put outside welcoming the new students the old ones those who were joining back and they were shot behind this using as a background 
So this was really looking very, very nice in the photographs. So yes, of course, I would love to know your feedback as to which bulletin board did you like the most. And you can look at the cuttings. They are very simple. Just by using all sets of different colors, how they really pop. So you can create one stencil, give it to any nanny that you have your have around if they are good with the cutting part. I am rather very very comfortable by using cutters. I am not a big fan of scissors, scissor never was actually. So I am a big, you know, I always believe in working fast and smart. So scissor, scissor is little uh, tedious work. So cutters, they, they work really fine for me. And the edges, the cuttings, they come really very, very clean by using cutters. In fact, scissor really doesn't give you that 360 uh, smooth cutting edge. So there are people, those who are really proficient with cutting with scissors. So here you can see all my three different bulletin boards on the spring theme. So this kinds of wraps up. All right, this kind of wraps up our the spring bulletin board idea. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a like. And if you have any questions and input, please do not hesitate to leave a comment below and I will surely get back to you. And if you haven't already considered subscribing my channel, please do. I want to thank you again for watching and liking my work. Thank you. Blessings from my side. Bye-bye. Take care.